and I'm here without Scott because he didn't read his book soon. Uh, I'm going to do a spoiler free review and some extra thoughts on The Deep by River Solomon. Can you see? It's pretty. Um, I picked this up as part of my mission to haul more inclusively. Um, and it was on a bunch of lists about reading from, um, our queer community. So, uh, River Solomon is a non-binary author, I believe. Um, and The Deep is the book that we're talking about. Um, my basic thoughts of the book was that I enjoyed it. Uh, I, in, I ripped through it. I only it took like a, a, two days to read it. Um, it was a very easy read, quite enjoyable. Um, I'll give you a synopsis in a minute and it's what it says on the tin. Like it's what you expect from the synopsis is the book that you're getting. Um, but what I wanted to talk about before I got into that is the afterword, which is written by Clipping, who are a musical group. I don't know what you call electronic music creators these days, producers, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and they created a an EP of three songs called The Deep, which was based on a mythology created in the 90s by electronic group, uh, and I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, uh, Drexia. Uh, Drexia were made up of members of the Underground Resistance, who I will link a quick like mini doco about them in the description because if you don't know much about De Detroit electronic music um, you probably won't have a feel but um, they sort of shunned the idea of celebrity that comes with music creation and uh, were big into being anonymous and not showing their faces in interviews and not posing for photographs and all, all of those things. Um, Drexia was a group founded, that founded um, itself on creating Electronica that was based on a mythology of Afrofuturism set in the ocean. Uh, at this time in the 90s, a lot of electronic music was sort of spacey and these guys were underwatery. Uh, which made them have a completely different funky sound. But to go with that, they created this whole huge mythology, which is the mythology which we see in the deep. So the mythology is that um, slave transporters uh, on their way, taking slaves from Africa to America, um, throw pregnant women overboard uh, and leave them to the ocean because they're you know, slave transporters, they're not good people. Um, and the mothers die, but the unborn children um, are metamorphosed by the ocean and can breathe underwater and are born and are um, an evolved species uh, that create a future race. Um, and there you go, you have your Afrofuturism. Um, so that core concept is actually initiated by Drexia in the late 90s. Um, and they did, um, I think they released four albums, two of which were stuck with this um, underwater mythology and then the, the people uh, moved to outer space eventually. Uh, so... From that, uh, the clipping did sort of a condensed, much more wordy version um, called The Deep, which I will link a link to the Drexia albums and also to the clipping music, um, which talks about this community 
under the sea. Um, what is new to the deep by River Solomon is the handling of multi um, intergenerational trauma um, and the idea of a memory keeper who possesses the memories of these underwater civilizations and who almost protects them from the knowledge of their history. Um, and the deeps, the, the novel's handling of that is um, what is most interesting about the novel. Like, the, the, the mythology is, is very interesting and, um, and fun, and the, its exploration through the music, um, which I've talked about already, um, is its own piece of art. Um, but the, the next level of, um, of talking about intergenerational trauma is very pertinent to race relations and, and not just race relations in America, but like even things like, um, Jewish survivors of the Holocaust and, you know, the millions of other examples of where people have been horrible to people for generations, um, and the ongoing repercussions of that um and how the historians are the ones who bear the weight of that and how not educating ourselves about the traumas of our ancestors doesn't necessarily protect us from that hurt um which i guess is the overarching theme of the deep um, and I just wanted to, there's a line in the afterword written by Clipping. That I want to read. Rivers has given us Yetu and in so doing shown us something that our song al alluded the immediate and visceral pain inherent in passing down past trauma. Drexia's militant uprising, which we suggested was incited by climate change and the destruction of Earth's oceans, becomes an ambivalent act of both justice and extreme violence, perpetuating further trauma. In their translation from Drexia to Clipping to this book, Rivers has added a dimension of pain to all three texts. Yeto's painful remembering might be seen as an allegory for the painful process of adaptation that Rivers has accomplished by retelling a fictional but nonetheless consequential story of white supremacist violence. It's ret a retelling that reaches back to the materials it adapts and complicates them, makes them better. In this sense, Rivers has co-authored our song in as profound a way as we have inspired this book. Um, I think that's really true. I think that if you're going to read the deep with any kind of um analysis in mind then you you do need to um explore all three um sources i think that for me personally the visceral image of the remembering as linked to electronic music and sort of the rave scene or not quite the rave scene but you, you, you'll know what I mean when you read it um is something that that experience for me was really enhanced by listening to the music after after reading the deep um the intercont the intercontextuality of these pieces I think is it's essential to it being a mythology I think that Detroit in particular has a tradition of expressing um, African-American culture through music and there are so many important conversations had in that, in particularly music that comes out of Detroit. Um, and I was really happy when I got to the end of it and I discovered that there was a whole new journey for me to have um, because I wasn't aware of the musical connection until I read the afterword. So I guess I'm dumping you a whole bunch of links so that you can get involved in the music, buy the book and experience uh, the batch together. That's my little brain dump. Um, if you've read The Deep and listened to the tunes, 
uh, comment below if you haven't do uh, like subscribe and all that YouTube stuff and I'll see you in the next video bye